diff started making this noise. This is really loud. Sounds like my actual wheel like hitting the ground and stuff. Guys, I you, my diff makes a horrible noise before like two weeks ago it started making this weird noise when I drift. Sounded like my wheel was hitting the ground, so I thought my tires were kind of low on thread to a point that the inside of the wheel the barrel is closer to the ground and by a little bit of pressure and weight shifting it would hit the ground that's my that was my theory but right now i realize it's my diff because in the highway it just started making a weird ass noise which is this this comes from the Again, look at my RPM, look at my speed. Um, this comes from the rear left of the car. All right, an update real quick. All we've done so far, exhaust is out. From those two. Sway bar is out. You can see it right there. Front diff, I this connected the axle. I just have to put, push the diff backwards. But before I do that, I'm gonna take the caliper off and zip tie them somewhere nice. So they don't start hanging take that off i think so this is the next step basically when you are taking the front diff bolts off you have to spin the drive shaft m car then you probably have like five bolts but if you don't you probably have four bolts in the front of the diff and you have to take some of the bolts off spin the shaft take some of the bolts off but you're not going to be able to if you're in gear handbrake is up also so you got to take put the handbrake down go in neutral which is pretty sketch you know what i mean because your car's like this, it can fall anytime. But you just put wood and apparently you're good. I've done that when I take my diff out. I've done that when I had my car up in second gear, sanding the lips. It's no matter how many times I do this, every time I do it, I'll be sketched out. All right, let's get go to the next level, which is taking everything before we take the full diff bolts out, subframe bolts out, and literally it's going to drop. That push this over there just like that one. That way we drop the... Um, trailing arm it's not gonna like put tension on this or drop on this um, that's pretty much the last thing we're gonna do and then the, steal the handbrake cables and then everything should re be ready to drop oh the speed sensor too oh my god I keep forgetting all right that's it and then open this up use a screwdriver and then take this out bracket that's holding the cable for the handbrake which is this ow all right pretty cool we're done now these four main bolts and then this hole should drop but I'm gonna put the jack underneath here before I start messing around with those bolts. Uh, maybe I'll crack it loose first, break it loose. What else do we need to do? I think that's, oh, the, the trailing arm, I forgot. All right, let me take the trailing arm off. Right there, uh, right there, yep. So this is in your tool trunk. I said this in my old video for the diff, but I forgot about it. My homie Abiel reminded me about wedging your screwdriver. I was like, okay, I'm gonna use this. I remember now. So you wedge it in here. Can they can see it here? Can they see mm -hmm. it? All right. So and this gets locked for here on the left side for the right side, and then don't worry about this. But just use this to lock this. That way this doesn't spin, so you can take it off. So I'm just gonna show you one. Lock it in here, it's not gonna spin. Put the ratchet in here, make sure it's all the way seated because these bolts are bad unless you uh, convert it to the Allen ones. And then loosen it. So, I did on that side, I did on this side. That's how you do it. I'm not gonna show everything. Uh, hey, let's get that food. Say what's up to the YouTube. Oh, shit, what's good, yo? Man, this is my brother. Thanks for recording. Yeah. Let's take everything apart. And uh, should be good. Show you this. That. 
this bushing is literally good. Like, I don't have to be doing this. You don't either. Don't wait for maintenance. I always say that. Maybe this is not maintenance. I think it is maintenance. Definitely is maintenance. Don't wait for maintenance. Do it before so your car doesn't ever leave you stranded anywhere and stuff like that. Um, yeah. I took this a part of the the axles, the the whole knuckle and the trailing arm. Maybe I should have went to the other yard. That's bigger, but I I don't know. The sun's hitting here. It's kind of nice. I'm gonna clean this up. This is what we got: water, soap. Where's the other soap? Dish soap. We got some brushes. And yeah, we're just gonna go to the town with this. I'm gonna take my time with this. I'm not in a rush. I'm just doing this because I think it's gonna be fun. All right, let's get it done. All right, so we pre I cleaned these and then I'm just spray painting and touching up the bare metal areas or scratched areas. It got really scratched when I was trying to uh, hammer the bushings out with the help of our of Yale. Thank you again, of Yale. And also, I want to show you guys the bushings because they're finally, are they over there? They're finally here. Oof. They're not. Kid Dom's dog. So fucking cute. <laughs> yeah, just hurry, brother, pull up. Dude, this shit. Oh. I've been wanting to do it, but now it's like, it's like <laughs> waiting for parts. It's just been so much. It's not just the work. That's the thing. It's just a, holy it's, shit. Yeah. Look where we came. Only one person got the remedy. <laughs> New wheels. Okay, I like, I like. At the Yara. <laughs> Boy, you need all that for. You want them things, dude. What's up, what's up? You want them things. You don't you like it? You want them things. <laughs> right now, right now? Yeah. <laughs> right now, right now. Yeah. I knew you would like it. Sick. Yeah. Drinking up tonight. Let's go with you. Remember, kids. Don't watch this video without proper safety gear. Yup, yup. Burn your eyes. This does not give a fuck about safety. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about, but okay. <laughs> this guy. What? <laughs> I don't know, man. What did I call you? What did I call you again? Savage. We don't even know him. All right, so I'm scrubbing off the old gasket, and if there's any uneven spot, I'm gonna wet sand it, maybe three thousand. I don't know, and then clean it with parts cleaner. And this is the other side. I think it looks really clean, but I'm gonna clean it with part cleaner and just clean the gasket here or anything. But I think everything looks good here. No, no, no. We got diffs on diffs on diffs on diffs. Sticky, sticky. Sticky, sticky. sticky. Good Josh here too. So what you do is just you cut a slit like this and this is for your pro tip this is a 36 millimeter for your oil filter housing to take your oil filter out this fits perfectly right here and you just pop hit it and it comes out i'm gonna test my luck and put it on there and hit that see if that's gonna come out i don't think it will but i'm gonna try it and then if you're cutting cut towards this side but i did cut towards this side and i left a little bit too much I don't think that's gonna be an issue but this thing cut way easier than my front control arm so I was like what the hell I did not expect it to cut that easy 
so right there i'm gonna hammer it in if not i'll press it in like this you can also grease it a little bit even though it says don't grease it or anise don't use anises but just grease it a little bit i'm using dw wd40 just because it goes away soon and also fuck and also the clap works or you can put it in the fridge and have it like frozen so it kind of decompresses or compresses in like it's smaller so you can do both of those i'm just gonna do this off the camera and show you guys that took like five seconds so you just push it maybe hammer it hold it hold the bottom of it hammer a little bit so it goes in and then stand on it and fucking full send it you can't hammer it a little bit you have to hammer it full send in the middle so it goes in that's pretty cool looks really nice i'm pumped for that now let's move to subframe bushings. We gotta grease these one by one. Or, I don't know, however you want. Alright, so the R tab bushings are in. They did, I feel like I wasted too much lube on that. So make sure you lube everything inside here, here. Maybe outside too. They said literally lube everywhere. So I just loop the inside and outside a little bit. You put this one in over here, you clean the area. You put this one in over here, you clean that area as well. This is also looped up, you push it in, boom. Done. So that's the trailing arms and we're gonna do the everything, basically everything else is like that. So you got a metal sleeve that goes inside of it and you put it in like that. Yeah, just make sure you clean everything and lube everything, basically. It comes with lube, if it doesn't, just use, I guess, some sort of grease. This is how it comes in the package. You open the, this one and take the, this one out and it's gonna look like this. One goes top, it says ref shift, so I'm assuming this one goes top. We need to grease it and then this goes bottom and this goes into here, just like the these ones, so I'm not gonna show these ones or greased up, I'm just gonna put them in. We have a lot of things to show, so I can't be showing everything. Recap. I broke my phone and I prepped everything and everything's good. I primed everything and he's welding it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have time for shit. <laughs> um, these are primed in the inner side of it, so it's gonna go like this. And the bottom is not primed, so you can weld through it. The ch those are everything uh, stripped in terms of paint and seam sealer, so it's ready for it to be welded. And the primer is that we're using, Alvia, thank you, uh, PBE uh, Weld Through Primer. Yeah, guys, if you guys want this done, he can nope, do everything nope, for you. Shut up, nope. $800. $800. <laughs> dollars Thousand. Three, three Gs. <laughs> oh, shit, it's that bad. Okay, never mind. Yeah, or sloppy toppy like I did. I mean, look at the gloves, you know. Shouldn't rust. But we live in California anyway. Yeah, it should be good. <laughs> that's true, that's true. We're gonna self edge everything after and then seam seal on top with a brush like fucking Bob Ross. <laughs> like factory. Factory Bob Ross spec. Dude, my shit is so messy. This guy's literally doing his best. Shout out to my man. Send it.
and this man doing everything. Get you a friend who do who does this shit. Who does this shit for you? I skip class. Damn, son. Damn, son. Where'd you find that? This shit looking proper. I need a grind shit up. It's upside down. Everything's harder. Oh, look at those. Look at those right there. Ooh. It's a height. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass because it's upside down. Yeah, and I didn't jack it up enough. So it's just like really fighting everything. But those are sauce right there. And it's hard I, to see what the fuck you're doing. Exactly. <laughs> There's shit falling in my neck. It's tough out here. But he's getting it done. Shout out to him. We're fighting for, I mean, not me, but he's fighting for his life right now. <laughs> so, yeah. It's going. This is the only one. Almost done. Last one to go. I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped. This is pro pretty much the only thing. And then I need headers and do the tune that I already have with the pink top injectors and i think my car is going to be where i want it to be and then we just got to tackle the shifter the bushing z3 shifter and that's it my car's done it's never done but whatever i, I prepped everything it looks so nice a lot of grinding sorry a lot of grinding you, we don't need everything flat, but I just made this stuff flat that is on the way. And then when you grind that, just test fit it so you don't grind too much of this. Test fit these guys on there, on there, <laughs> on there. And then this one, this one. Aviel killed it, bro. Thank you so much, Aviel, if you're watching. Well, look at that. Look at that shit. We got my boy Ramiel here. With his E36, he got the blast pipe going on. <laughs> Looks good though, it's just enough. Add some character to the car, you know? But the paint's so clean on this car. Hella dirty right now. Yeah, right now it's like hella sap. But it looks so clean. Someone hit him and ran. So fucked up. This car was flawless all around. But it's not that bad, it's just the hood, the bumper. Yeah, it could be worse, definitely. Like, it really devalued the car. I know, definitely. Especially in the front, too, yeah. that's the first thing you see. Yeah. But it's not that obvious. Like this this makes it the most like obvious. Before, because of this, you know? This little ripple here. Oh. So this was like the clean side. That's the side I would take. Bro, it's from. so hard to find each other. At least all the lines match up. Everything's straight, you know? Hell yeah. <laughs> and this, though. That happened on your ownership, no. too? Okay. Came with it. I don't know how that happened. They, they sell this section. Really? Yeah. So yeah, we just cut just it. Just cut, cut it from this line oh, right here. Shit. But it's going to be fiberglass. I don't care. So you can just do That's cool. rivets. That's cool. But this car looks cool. I love the color. Especially in the... That shit looks just so cool. You need jiggy colors with these old cars. Or just like cool colors. Yeah, really... Really... Color, in my opinion, yeah. Like a big deal. I mean, I looked for this color for a long time. Yeah. I know someone who went to Canada to find one of these. No Three, way, the battery? Yeah, yes. This color, yeah, specifically. I don't know, yeah, just black. But yeah, this. We're done, so I'm just gonna primer it and then seam seal it. And I just went with this primer just because this is basically the only thing I found. If you have time, I would go with Sam. That's what my seam sealer is going to be. But yeah, we're just done. I've gotten these ones from Fastenal, M14 by 80, 10 and 10.9, great. So it's more durable than the OEM ones because the OEM ones are 8.8 .8 great. So something like this is actually 8.8 .8 great. It says it on there too. So it would go with these new freshly tapped bigger hole with the bigger... Um, that guy right there but unfortunately he gave me the wrong one I asked him I said it's 10.5 right sorry 1.5 right under 1.5 is the thread pitch 
But when I look up the part number, because the right here doesn't say the thread pitch. He gave me the right thread pitch, 1.5, but it was 100. I said I need 80. But when I look at the part number, it's a 2.0 thre thread. So it's a, I guess, bigger thread. I need a smaller thread. So you won't thread into that. But we can hold off of that, no problem. I still have to do the other bushing, which doesn't take that long, but still. So I have to go back tomorrow, but I went to fast and all. This is four bucks. They gave you two in case one breaks. Not a bad deal. Four bucks for those. Hello. Zinc coated and everything. The OEM one that I bought was like 10 bucks. For real? Yeah. From, these, are these are better, thicker and everything, but I mean, they're not BMW. Yeah, so I'm just gonna primer everything and then get to the seam ceiling. All right, sorry, uh, my phone been dying and shit and I haven't edited any video, so it's getting full. I have like 13 minutes left. I'm shooting in like 8K, but I put the subframe in I took the top of the, the cup for the spring, basically, off there. Same for this side. So I'm putting that diff, or I don't, the, the order doesn't matter, I guess. Then I'm putting this, then the diff, or whatever. Just because the drive shaft matching up is, is ass, I'm the only person, I only have one jack. So when you do it, the front goes up, the back comes down with these on. And these are pretty heavy, honestly, you can just jack, like, all of them up at the same time. I couldn't do it with one jack, one person. And I thought this would be faster and easier. Easier to do a part by part, that's all I'm trying to say. But right now, wires, cable all the way, feed it, and then see what happens. All right, everything's torqued to spec. I will put the torque specs, but when you have the extension, you have to add an, uh, an amount to the actual number, so. All we need is the diff, everything's good. Be careful with the orientation of these lines, so I'll show you. Handbrake line goes up on top, brake line on the bottom, axle on top of all of them. As you can see. So make sure you put that brake caliper up before you start, fa um, I guess, before you stop, start installing like everything else. And those all towed out, so my toe adjustment hopefully won't get fucked. These are here for the heat shield, and now just, just, everything zip tied away, everything. Wiring's all good, I triple checked everything, I think we should be fine. But I am planning on coming back to this probably next week and double check every bolt, everything, make sure everything's good. Um, what time is it? It's eight, holy shit. Uh, flew it in. Put the diff in probably gonna take me 30 minutes i don't want to jinx myself please let it go smooth and then cap back on and then we chilling 